वेलकम बैक टू कैड कैम ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस सिंपल जग इन सॉलिड वर्क्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ सॉफेस टूल एंड हियर वी विल लर्न सब बेसिक कमांड्स ऑफ सॉफेस आई होप यू लाइक इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू क्रिएट द जग एंड यू विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज सिंपल टूल्स ऑफ सॉफेसेस लेट्स स्टार्ट टू क्रिएट दिस सिंपल जग विद द हेल्प ऑफ solid work surface tool so here the main drawing so we will start with this drawing let's little more okay now we will start with bottom you will see the dimension the width from this point to center line 70 then center point to this line 65 and inside there is a curve and that is 54 mm and here the radius of this curve 175 okay this radius 7.5 overall length of the jug is 280 mm then this curve 220 and here you will see all other dimensions like this corner from center 54 the upper corner 65 but 20 mm and 50 mm gap okay this line is straight and these two are circles and this is tangent that's why i no need to define dimensions for center work so let's make this geometry first now here i, I we will keep a unit in millimeter so right click and choose your surface tool so this is the surface either you can directly choose revolve surface or uh, whatever plane you like so i'll choose right plane a sketch okay let me draw vertical construction line vertical and horizontal tangent now select l command and choose line if you press simply l and it will convert it that's okay then come to the point and see it will automatically convert if you want get perfect half circle then simply escape and choose here three point arc we will define this first Seventy millimeter, fifty-four millimeter. Okay, seven point five millimeter, one seventy-five the radius. Okay, and here we will make tangent. So what we will do? Make line should be horizontal. Now select line and this arc. make relation tangent that's it now here we need to define uh, okay some one more distance sixty five millimeter okay now here we need to define this two point should be vertical now here the bottom lines finished let me choose line select here and go back to the point and see it will automatically convert into arc now that's it go back to the point and again it will again it will convert into arc select here don't create any relation just simply move your okay let's define or uh, before going to define let's make sure it is tangent Overall length two eighty millimeter. Okay, that's fine. Seventy 
65 millimeter 20 millimeter reduce the curve don't create any relation otherwise difficult to create dimensions we need to define these two dimensions 50 millimeter okay and distance from here to here fifty four millimeter two twenty millimeter the radius and one more distance this fifty millimeter that's it now let's check what else balance just try to rotate this one okay oh, this dimension we took from center point so simply make sure the dimension with vertical line 65 now this is fully defined sketch simply go to surface choose revolve surface now here axis of revolution choose this one you will see the preview now see now the body is created let's make this handle 70 millimeter angle and at 120 width and 30 millimeter and 100 millimeter this is the corner distance from here you will see 100 millimeter from the center line 30 millimeter from below 20 millimeter see here and uh, this diameter is 12 millimeter if you will see see true r6 this 12 millimeter so we will create with the help of swift surface now we will choose right plane a sketch normal and here we will create center line now choose line and draw a taper make sure it is perpendicular to each other see it is perpendicular all the lines if you choose this line you will see a tangent mark that's it seventy millimeter one twenty millimeter okay now let's make the distance hundred millimeter and distance from this line to this corner 30 millimeter now you will see this is fully defined a sketch fill it and that is 25 millimeter so choose these two corner points see drawing is fully defined simply exit and here we are not going to define a profile simply we will use swift surface and here I'll choose circular profile I'll choose here 10 millimeter we will choose 12 millimeter see you will see the preview okay that's it now with the help of trim tool we will delete this inside pipe so choose trim surface now let's choose the body and this 
tool now here remove selection so simply select this pipe you will see it is hidden let me choose second pipe once you choose you will see preview it's trimmed already keep select mutual now see let's see section view right hand side now see now here the pipe is created everything now we need to create this tip this is 25 mm angle remember this one and comes up first we will create a plane from bottom to here 280 mm then we will create this angle this 7 mm radius 90 mm distance from this center point angle 35 mm and here one radius 5 mm i'll show you first let's create a plane for reference pl plane choose top plane 280 mm distance okay now let's select the plane a sketch normal now let's start to create our geometry line okay now what we will do select okay let me select these three lines symmetric relation in the same way we will make these three lines symmetric okay let's define this corner 7 mm Five millimeter, this corner. Okay. Distance from center point to this ninety millimeter. Okay. Now angle. Angle is thirty-five degree. Okay. Now here we will create one relation. Select this. and this circle at create relation tangent undo the process drag it little here then it's more easy tangent now see here now this corner should be lie on this edge so select the edge and this point go inside now see drawing is fully defined simply exit hide the plane right plane is sketch and i'll draw a line draw a taper line with angle 25 degree Okay, it is going inside.
We don't want to peer, just go inside, that's enough. Exit. And uh, go to surface. Choose your swift surface. Sketch profile, first select profile. And choose path. Now see here. Okay. Now let me choose stream surface. <coughs> now here choose both the body remove selection so I'll choose one and what else balance this surface now you, you can easily view the profile keep mutual oh look the shape is created If you don't like, we can simply allocate. See, so we're, we either you can apply thickness, but uh, we don't want to apply any thickness. Just simply, this is the simple tutorial how you can create a jar jug with the help of surface tool. Even though, let's try thickness. One millimeter. Oh, this is not going to apply because this is another body, and uh, one millimeter thickness is not suitable sometime because of ages. So don't forget to share, like our video, and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.